The two suspects charged with gunning down a Franklin Township police officer are each being held on $2 million bail, cash bail, after being arraigned today. News 3's Stephanie Stahl reports to us this is not their first brush with violent crime. Robert Mudman Simon was wheeled into court. He was shot in the leg when he was arrested Saturday night, along with Charles Shovel Staples. They're both charged with killing Franklin Township Police Officer Lee Gonzalez during a routine traffic stop. Police say Staples is a one-time leader of the Warlocks Motorcycle Gang. Simon is also reportedly a longtime member. Officials say the notorious gang is making a comeback. They're still uh, into what they did before, that's selling drugs or into methamphetamines and things like that. So they do have a criminal history. Simon is described as being a one-man crime wave. He was most recently convicted of killing 19-year-old Beth Duesenberg because she refused to have sex with Warlock gang members. Simon's record reads like this, arrests 26, convictions 9, jail terms 4. Simon had spent 20 years in prison. He was paroled from Greaterford just 11 weeks ago. It seems to be the same old story in regarding the... Uh, revolving door of justice and, and an individual being on parole for murder and should never take a place. Governor Ridge in Philadelphia last week, apparently feeling the same kind of outrage, has requested a complete report from the Board of Probation as to why Simon was paroled. So far, there's been no explanation. Police say the Warlocks are making a comeback in rural suburban areas like here in Gloucester County, New Jersey, over in Pennsylvania, in Delaware and Chester counties. And authorities say gangs and violence are no longer just a big city Philadelphia issue. They're out here in a big way now, in what most people used to think of as safe, friendly neighborhoods. Stephanie Stahl, News 3. Services for the murdered officer will be held later this week. The viewing for Sergeant Gonzalez will be held Wednesday evening at 6 at the Ronas Funeral Home in Vineland. Funeral services are Thursday morning at 9.30 at the Sacred Heart Church also in Vineland. The trial of two motorcycle gang members charged in the murder of a police officer in Gloucester County will be held in Hunterdon County. A judge has ordered a change of venue in the death penalty trial of Robert Mudman Simon and Charles Shovel Staples. They're accused of shooting to death Franklin Township Police Sergeant Ippolito Gonzalez in May of 1995. Defense attorneys cited pre-trial publicity with tainting the pool of potential jurors. No trial date has been set as of yet. A jury of seven men and five women have found Charles Shovel Staples guilty of felony murder. The motorcycle gang member was charged with the 1995 killing of Franklin Township Police Sergeant Ippolito Gonzalez. The jury deliberated less than two hours before returning its verdict this afternoon. Staples faces 30 years in prison. Sentencing has been set. Death by lethal injection, that's the sentence for Robert Mudman Simon. A jury in Flemington today delivered their death penalty verdict to the motorcycle gang member following 11 hours of deliberations. Simon pleaded guilty to murdering Franklin Township Police Sergeant Ippolito Gonzalez in May of 1995. New Jersey's last execution was in 1963. No one has been put to death under the current death penalty law, which was enacted in 1982. New Jersey death row inmate Ambrose Harris has exhausted his state appeals. In a 4-2 vote, the state Supreme Court today upheld Harris's death sentence. Harris raped and murdered a woman in 1992. The justices found there was no racial bias in the verdict. Harris can still appeal to the federal courts. The death row inmate must still answer charges that he killed fellow death row inmate Robert Mudman Simon last year.